Just in Philly, too, you kind of came out day two and you shot 11 strokes better. Just like, obviously, you played the practice on that course, but just like, same thing like we talked about with the adaptive open. Like, you just stuck with it and grinded through and then ended on great rounds. Every tournament you've played so far, which is, you know, not the easiest yeah. to do. No, for sure. And, you know, it was it was awesome. I So, kind of going to the first day, um, I, I, it was, it was a tough day. Like it was really tough. Um, it was about 40 mile per hour winds and those who like really just were able to make some putts and, and stuff. And these, so these greens were rolling at 14 timber, I think wow. only touches like 11 and that's quick. So literally dude, like yeah. I was putting on the practice green and like, I, I hit a putt and I just laughed watching it roll out. Like it just, it, it, it literally just kept going. And I'm like, this is going to be a, it's going to be a fun day. And like with the wind and everything, it was a really tough day. So, and I just didn't, didn't play well, you know, there's no avoiding that. So I shot an 89, which was like so brutal. And the night of Monday night, the, the night of the first round, I just, I was, I was, I was okay, but like I, I, I was passed, right? Like I just, I knew I could yeah. do better and. You know, I, I was in like 33rd or 34th place out of like 60. I'm like, dude, this is not me. Like, you know, tough day and that's golf. But I was like, tomorrow, all we're going to do is just show that we can, you know, stay respectable and we're going to just yeah. put up a number that I know I can put up. And um, so at dinner, I got the pairings for day two and I was with Albert Boker. I was going to ask if you were with him. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So I got put with him and a, I was pumped to be able to play with him because he's the man and B I've never yeah. played with a short stature player. So I'm like, this is going to be oh, awesome. Dude. Yeah. Like, and I was nine strokes behind him. So like he would, I, I would, I would be shocked if I caught up to him being nine strokes back with how good of a golfer he is. And, um, but you know, I was like, this is great. Like I'm going to be able to know where I'm at, you know, so let's do it. So day two comes and I'm all excited now. And, you know, I got everything behind me and got a good warm up session. And, um, first hole, um, I par in Albert doubles, which is really not like him. Like I'm telling you, dude, Albert, yeah. he's like a one handicap. Like Chaz yeah. is nasty. And I say Chaz it's albert he goes by chaz that's his nickname yeah um, yeah, yeah so his dude he's like he that's so unlike him right so i'm like well now it's only seven you know and i'm looking at my dad i'm like yeah good start you know so it was one of those things and i i've read a bunch of books that say like you know don't play the opponent play the course and all that and, yeah, yeah exactly but it's, it's hard not to and you know how many you're back so had a much better day um, I ended up having him down to three strokes after the 11th hole. I dropped six strokes on him. Um, so it was like, it was a dog fight, man. And it's golf, right? Yeah, so it's respectful, yeah. right? It's not like, it's not like there's shit talking or anything like that going on. And he's, yeah, exactly. dude, he's, he's, he's so respectful, man. Like he, um, he wants nothing but the best for everyone. And, um, he's got a great game and I was playing good enough to kind of get on it. And, and then unfortunately I caught a few unlucky breaks and shots and whatever. And, um, I, I had a bad ending. I shot a, I think I shot a 78. Um, yeah, yeah. 78. But that was with, on my last six holes, I bogeyed five. So that's, that's right. Cause I was. Day mm -hmm. one, I was driving back from my trip, so I wasn't following it. And then day two, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, shit, I should check in on this. And I think at the point I checked in, you had, like, the low round of the day. And it was probably around, Dude, like, so 10 or 11. And I was what, like, I saw what, the gap, and I was like, oh, shit. Good that's what catch my mom was saying, is that for, for a, like, decent amount of time, I, I had the lowest round of the day. And then, actually, yeah. like, in the final, like, after all round, or all scores came in for round two, I had the third lowest of the day and the only people who had lower than me were in first and second so had yeah. i kind of just you know it, it's easy to look back and say this about golf but yeah. had i kind of kept my head above 
water the first day, we would have really had a good chance to um, maybe get top five or, or so on and so forth. But it was, uh, dude, it was, it was so awesome to just kind of have that comeback and um, shout out to Chaz for winning short stature. But man, it, it would have been a pretty cool story to kind of chase him down nine strokes. And, yeah. and get, I saw get, it. Yeah. I saw he just did something with Josh Kelly too. The hole in one trick shots. Did you oh, see dude, that? He, yeah, I was, he, I was sick. He's the man. Dude. Like talking to him. Um, obviously, he's from California, so he doesn't come over to yeah. the East Coast for every. Like he wasn't here for Ohio and blah blah blah. Yeah, so, yeah. um, I don't get to talk to him often, but I I work really tight on social media and stuff. But talk, like sitting down and talk with him, it's amazing. Like he's. Um, uh brad williams the little person comedian like he just casually played golf with him the week before he came and brad williams posted on it and it's like dude like this is insane you know like it's in california is a whole different world it's it's incredible over there um but dude Chaz is the man he's he's got you know all these connections and super cool so um yeah it was it was great to be able to play with him and kind of see my game match up to his and learn a lot of things from him. And, you know, hopefully he learned a thing or two from me, just, you know, kind of talking out and stuff. But, um, yeah, dude, it was great experience. And I, I really, it would have been, it would have been so sick to chase him down, but he, uh, he played well, he played, he played yeah. well enough. I, re- I just remember the reel popped up the other day, like from our basic bogeys account, because we followed him after the adaptive open. And I saw like the collaboration with Josh Kelly. And I was like, wait, dude, that's like hole in one trick. Sh-. Like we just, we happened to not follow hole in one trick shots from basic bogeys, even though like I do from my personal. And, but it was, I was like, yeah. wait, that's, that's Chaz. Like <laughs> we know, him. So we don't sad, know him, dude. but we, we know him, you know? Dude, yeah, no, for sure. Like he's, dude, he's everywhere. Like it's insane. And, uh, it's cool like seeing said, him cause they dropped the whole YouTube video. I haven't watched it yet, but I mean the same thing with, with Max, like Max dropped that whole video with Melosi. like they're doing content together now. And like, that's just yeah. growing the adaptive scene in the already existing YouTube scene. Like it's, it's, yeah. it's cost. No, it's, happening. it's so sick. So sick. I definitely want to get in. I want to get in somewhere on it. Cause, um, it's it's awesome what these guys are doing you know these adaptive players and um what's really cool is that adaptive golf is the word starting to get out to guys like that like the youtubers and stuff so um yeah dude it's so so sick how fast adaptive golf is growing it's honestly um it's i have mixed emotions about it because you know i if you think about it like until this last may nobody knew about me you know nobody had a clue who i was and now i'm currently the second top short stature player in america and i'm hopefully going to be below 80 after this tournament so um it's just like and it's great because you know i i know that i i hope there's some kid out there who sees me or sees uh chaz or you know Yoakum at Sweden and um, Brendan Lawler in Ireland or, you know, Curtis Barkley in Canada. He sees any of us, yeah. you know, and, he, and he's a little person or whatever. He has sh- shorter limbs and he says like, okay, like this is a game for me. Like I can play or I do play and now I'm looking to compete. And that was kind of my, that was kind of my, um, you know, scenario where I was like, I play and I'm looking for a place to compete. What's this whole adaptive golf thing? I want to be in it. So um, yeah. it's one of those things where as it grows more, you, you got to know there's going to be more players coming in. And, and that's great. That's so great. But then you also have to de- defend your spot, right? So it's it's yeah. pretty cool. It's really cool to see it grow, but you also got to stay on your heels. I, I was at the course for two hours today practicing because it's just like <laughs> yeah. you, you can never you can never practice too much, right? Like it's um it's great and our next event's gonna be in December. So obviously just gotta keep working. Yeah. Where's that at in December? Uh it's in um Scottsdale, Arizona. Oh, nice. At TPC. Yeah, so no, just it's the course, um, there. The, the course uh, it's called Papago, and it's okay. in the heart of Scottsdale. 
and hmm. so pumped because a I've never been to Scottsdale and b anyone who I ever you know I'll tell them like oh my next events in Scottsdale or whatever they'll be like oh my god like that's the Gulf Central you know so yeah, yeah. it'll be uh, it'll be cool to get out to Scottsdale and, and play some golf there the only tough part is the fact that I live in Syracuse, New York, and the tournament's in December. So pre- yeah. preparation is going to be a little difficult. Yeah, yeah. hopefully it's uh, we don't get any snow and you can keep getting range sessions in. And yeah, exactly. Uh, did you, exactly. Did you see of, other golf? Did you see other golfers you like met from the Adaptive Open then at Gap? Because like we saw Amanda was there as well. And did you were you able to yeah. connect with others that you had met that week? Oh, dude, it was great. It was so awesome because um, I saw a like very few that I knew in Ohio. Um, mm-hmm. but I also met some at Ohio. So I'm, I, it was like my dad and I were really talking about it on the way home about how much of a community it really is. And we knew it was, but now that I'm starting to like really be in the heart of it, of the community and start to really get to know people, dude, it's so awesome to like kind of re reunite with people. And, um, uh, we had a dinner, um, the night of the practice round. So the night before round one, and it was like, it was kind of one of those things where it's like, everyone is so excited to see everyone, but at the same time, it's like, everyone wants to win so freaking bad, you know, like yeah. everyone in that room just wants to win and they want to play their best and they want to compete and, you know, tell them they can, they're gonna, they're gonna do it. So, um, it's just, it's so awesome to see such great people. And, um, I mean, I, I could name names for an hour, but it was great to see Amanda, uh, Brandon Kinesi, who goes by whole high. Um, he was great. I played with him for oh, two, yeah, yeah. Uh, two days, um, in Kansas. And then, uh, dude, Chaz, um, geez, I mean, literally, like 50% of the people who were there were at the adaptive open and it was just, it was yeah, so sick awesome. to see everybody. Um, so yeah, it, it really is. It's a big community and, um, all these people can play, man. They really can. So it's great to see it. And, um, and then Isa, um, who won, um, I played with him in a practice round in Kansas and we actually played in the practice round oh, together cool. again. Um, this, this tournament and, man, like he, he can hit the ball, but just like watching him in practice rounds and stuff and watching his process of how to learn the course and stuff like that. It's just, it's so sweet. And then, you know, he goes and he wins, he wins the tournament. So it's, it's, uh, it's, you know, hopefully it's contagious. I, I want to say, but, um, it really is amazing. Like just to watch these guys compete and, um, and to have the chance to compete, really. And, and I, yeah. I love it. So, Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.